the side of benign, um, I think that most people have agreed that there isn't a simple formula that I could look at somebody and look at their course of disease and look at their MRI and look at any biomarker or any other indication and be really assured that those patients are going to do very well and don't need a disease modifying drug. If only that were true, we would be able to separate that small component, probably about 10 or 15% of all MS patients don't need disease modifying drug because 30 years from now, they're not going to look any different and they won't have accumulated any significant damage. And if we could just identify those folks early, we can keep them from being exposed from uh, potentially harmful drugs um, and, and, and maybe even not treat them at all. And, and uh, we try to address that. And we've looked at our own data sets and we've used a biomarker such as serum neurofilament light, which if it's very low when the patient presents themselves at the early stages of MS, probably uh, means that those patients will do very well 10 and even 20 years later. That's, that was our own data set. On the other hand, if they're in the higher range of this particular marker, um, that would indicate that they have a very early chance of progressing. And at that point, you would probably say, why would I just give them a mild medication? Maybe I should start with something more aggressive. And then we have the opportunity of preventing that event from occurring. And that's kind of where we're going now with these markers. But in general, uh, there isn't a magic formula for defining benign disease. The, the tool we use the most is something, an, an imaginary instrument we call the retrospectoscope. <laughs> if only such a thing existed. But it, it really is looking at somebody who's, who's 25 years into their disease and clearly they haven't accumulated any problems. You can go, you know what? I think you have benign disease. Now, you, if, if only I could have done that 25 years ago. See, that's where I need the retrospectoscope.